let's understand a few more terminologies the next one is feature engineering now this is actually a part of your machine learning project workflow we have seen this this aspect earlier also what feature engineering refers to is you have your data that contains the various features you have say you have a y field y column and various features are present and these we collectively call as x or inputs this is your base set of inputs that you receive from this base set of inputs you might be able to create some more features out of it new set of inputs a meaningful combination of one or more of these inputs it can be square of some of the inputs or a log of some of the inputs some other transformation can also be done and you can create a new feature or a lot of new features out of your existing set of inputs all these new set of features that you will create and this process of creating such a new features is called feature engineering often you will find that a lot of thought and it's it's sort of an art actually there is no specific way of okay these are the exact features i need to create whatever feature that you feel might be helpful to explain your why basically you create a feature and that feature has some sort of intuitive explanation about why the value the label should be holding such a value in such a, such a situation if it is able to explain that that is probably going to be a useful variable and you can actually get really creative into creating new features whenever you are doing the model building process the next concept is feature importance now after you have built your machine learning model irrespective of whatever algorithm you are using there typically exists some sort of a method or technique using which you can compute the importance of each of the features so here let's imagine this you have built a machine learning model and that model consists of say seven different features in this graph you see seven different features over here and the values of these features actually represent the importance of that feature and depending on the type of the algorithm you are using the way you are computing the feature importance score itself can change this depends on algorithm to algorithm next is hyperparameter tuning now every machine learning algorithm has some sort of hyperparameter involved most of them for example when we saw decision trees we saw an algorithm called decision tree where you have a hierarchical structure of rules and based on how these rules are interpreted based on these rules the final prediction is being made the decision tree some, looks something like this this sort of a rule based structure now the hyperparameter for such an algorithm could be like how deep this decision tree can be grown this has 1 2 3 4 four different levels how many levels it can have that can be a hyperparameter another parameter could be like in each of these nodes the internal nodes you can control how many items should be there before each of these nodes can be split that also can be set up as a parameter when you are building a decision tree so like that this is just an example for decision tree like this every other machine learning algorithm can have its own set of hyperparameters and by tuning those hyperparameters by setting these hyperparameters to a certain level you can make that algorithm to perform more optimally for with respect to that particular algorithm itself by setting the parameters at a certain level the performance of the algorithm can be maximized and this process of tuning the hyperparameters to maximize the performance is called hyperparameter tuning the person who is actually building the algorithm has the developer has actually the control over this and an example of hyperparameter that how we discuss for decision tree in case of decision tree it is maximum depth the number of leaves these are some of the common hyperparameters for decision trees you might have to train the algorithm multiple times by setting at different values of maximum depth different values of number of trees and a combination of both maximum depth and number of trees by trying out all the different combinations or various different combinations systematically you can tune the algorithm for a better performance